Hey everybody at home, I thought I'd do a quick video on a little uh, ID3 tag editor I use called MP3 tag. It allows me to make adjustments on information and track information on ripped music files, whether they're MP3, FLAC, or uh, DSF, which is a DSD or SACD rip. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up Artivana. As you guys all know, I'm a big fan of Artivana. And I found this track here, BB King, a DSD rip called Reflections. And it says disc one, and then it's one, two, three, five, seven, eight, nine, 11, 12, 13. And then four, six, and 10 are out of sequence on disc two. Well, I know there's no two discs, and obviously the track information is out of whack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get out of Artivana. And I'm going to go ahead and start MP3 tag. It's a great little freeware software you can download. It's if you want to contribute to the guy who writes it, I did. Um, I use it all the time. It's great. And I use it very simply. I'm not a power user. So I'm going to go to the directory. And I might, I've set it so my default directory is my external USB drive in the digital music folder. But I keep my SACDs in a different uh, folder just so that they're uh, discrete. I can find them real quick. So come down here and I want to look for BB King. And where is BB King? BB King is right there. And I know there's more than one album. So I'm going to double click his name. Now, when I get to the album, I don't want to double click on the folder that contains the tracks. Because if you notice, MP3 tag is acting asking you to select a folder, not tracks. It'll read that folder. So I select that folder and it reads through all 13 tracks. Now, a little shortcut is this little blue box right here. If I click it, it selects all of them. And it gives me the information title. I want to keep that. Artist is BB King. The album is Reflections. Um, I don't know if it's 2003 or not, but I could change it if I want to. Album artist, so forth. But it says disc number. And what I want to do is there are no disc numbers. So I'm going to make it blank. So it is completely blank. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And it'll write that information to those that ID3 uh, tag and this is an ID3 version 2.3. There's different tags depending on the type of uh, material it is. So you can see as you scroll through, it'll show you all of the different stuff. So um, there is genre codec. Now this happens to be a DSD64. Obviously 5645 kilobits, 2,822,400 hertz is the frequency. And this particular track is three minutes and 22 seconds, which it will show when you're in the folder looking at it. So you can come down here and right click on the album cover and you can change the cover. You can make, if you have a back cover image, you can add it. Although most software won't let you look at two different images for the album. So there's nothing we have to do with that. And we're all done there. And you notice when I clicked out, everything went blank. And again, I can just simply select all by hitting that little blue box that says select all. So we've written the file. I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of mp3 tag and then I'm going to start Audubana and now Audubana I've got it set to scan the all the folders so I'm going to go ahead and well it'll take a minute or two to scan so we'll come back when it's finished you know, I'll let you guys watch it scan all the way through so you can see up here in the upper right corner it says syncing digital music that's looking through all my FLAC files uh, all of the FLAC and MP3 files I have is in that digital music folder. And then once it's done doing that, and it'll happen pretty quick because there's no changes. I haven't made any changes to those folders. Um, but there's a lot of them. There's 50-something thousand, 60-something thousand tracks maybe. I know there's like 3,000 artists and I don't remember how many albums, but there's probably 10,000. So it'll scan through that looking for changes. And then that will stop when it's done with that folder. And then you'll see scanning and syncing SACD folders because I have the two folders that I want. So we're going to go back down here and I'm going to go to DSD and we're going to come over here and we're going to look for BB King and we're going to look for the album Reflections. And if I click on that, now we come out and you'll notice that everything is in order the way we want it as one track. So very, very simple. And again, MP3 tag is the software I use. It's wonderful for doing that stuff. Like I said, you can use it to do FLAC files. You can use it to do whatever you want to. So if we do digital music and I come here to an Aerosmith and we're doing Honkin' on Bobo, now this will come up and you'll notice this one is actually an ID3 uh, V2.4 file. And you'll also notice it's an MP3, I think. MPEG-1, okay, so it's an MP3 file. 
at a really low bit rate because this was ripped off of uh, probably Spotify or something like that way back in the day. So again, I can come through and I can select and I can change folder information, all kinds of other stuff. Um, so that's fine. Now this one has a disk number one of one. Well, we don't need a disk number, it's only nine tracks. So we're gonna go ahead and save that. And we're gonna go ahead and resync the tracks since we're here. And let me see how I resync that. Bear with me a second, I think I did it wrong. So I think I wanna come here and go track and then have it sync correctly. So now it's in correct order. We're gonna rewrite those folders, those files I should say. So now everything's straight on the Aerosmith honking on Bobo. So let's go back in Audubonna and actually it's gonna take a second. So I'm gonna pause the video and come back. Well, there's no sense making you guys sit through a, uh, a resync. So we're gonna come out here to artists and we're gonna to go to A for Aerosmith. And there they are, so we'll click there. And we're gonna get all the albums. And now what will happen is the content provided here is provided by Koba as the editorial content. It's looking at my local files, but it brings up the band's kind of a, a, a novel on their biography. Oh my goodness, is that a long one? I'm not gonna sit through that. But if I come down here, it'll show all the popular tracks on Cobuzz, not in my information, because it's 2496. And as you saw, the Honkin' on Bobo is actually an MP3, low bitrate MP3. So if I come here, you know, it'll show the date and everything else. It does fill in the editorial content even on my local folders. So anyway, that's everything there. And Honkin' on Bobo has no disk numbers now. So that's it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's kind of fun to see how that uh, particular piece of software works. And even if I'm not using Artivana and I have maybe Spotify monitoring all my local folders, which it can, I can still use MP3 tag to go ahead and edit whatever I want to add album covers or whatever. So if I wanted to add, al add an album cover, seriously, all I got to do is go out to my browser and I went and looked for an album cover earlier. So going for the bird's greatest hits. And there I found I can click and, and copy one of those images and then paste it into the MP3 tag area, provided I have all my tracks selected, and then just write it to that. And th that image will be then tagged with those folders and that file. So I hope you got something out of that. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching my channel. I really appreciate it. It's surprising how much interest I've generated. And I'm very pleased and very humbled by it. If anybody has any questions or any comments, please do so down in the comments. I always look at the comments and I always try to respond. Sometimes it might take me a couple hours or if you're in a different time zone, I may be responding when you're not looking at the computer. But double check back and I, I will always respond. So thanks so much, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful day.